My name is Alex Shaw, I'm 29 years old. I'm from Keswick, Ontario, uh, and I moved down here the second I got my subway license. Everybody's talking about the sweetie no dance. I'm Dana, I'm 19. Alex and I are both from the same hometown. I'm from kind of the town over, basically the same, uh, from Pepperla. And uh, when Alex came back to live with his parents from Toronto, we met and uh, started playing music and then got our subway license and now we're back in Toronto together. Yo baby ain't sweet like mine. Me and Dana met at an open mic. Uh, I was looking for a girl to play with because I was sick of dealing with uh, dudes and their egos. <laughs> so I was specifically looking for a girl to play with and uh, the first one that I went for in my hunt, I saw her and she was playing ukulele and singing. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, she's good. <laughs> we'll see if we can do something with her and then Two months later, I actually handed her a washboard and said, learn how to play this, and then she got amazing at it. So that's how that story started. We've been busking in the subway for uh, five months. We usually go out five, six days a week for maybe five hours uh, each day. Um, and we have, you know, other jobs to make ends meet, but uh, we really enjoy this. and. Um, I used to be in a band that was doing clubs, and I much prefer this. It's, I, I like having an audience that isn't your friends. <laughs> it's not people who are there to see you and be like, oh yeah, you're awesome. It's people who want to ignore you. It's the best audience ever for a creative person. The audience doesn't want to pay you. They want to keep their money. <laughs> They're not like walking around like, oh, who can I give this $5 bill to? It's like you have to be putting on a show that's worthy enough for them to be paying you. And I find that uh, really interesting. We do this as our full-time living. And like Alex said, we do have other uh, jobs that kind of fill in the gaps and make ends meet. And we're able to buy our groceries at the end of the day. But uh, this is completely what we invest most, I would say, all of our time in. Um, because we love it and we're obsessed with it, but it's also dependable. There you go. I just imagine everybody's got like a gigantic foghorn attached to their head that's just going. <laughs> And it's just like, you just literally need to yell and annoy them enough that they, blah. and then the second, you know, you can feel an energy shift. And the second you feel that energy, you don't want to be desperate, but you want to let them know that, like, I see you, and you saw me, and then they go, oh crap, I saw you, and then they hand you some money. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. <laughs> When it's slow, Alex and I will just goof around and we play the songs over so many times because we're up for five hours. Obviously, we don't have five hours of material, so we'll be playing the same songs over and over. We get kind of bored of it, so we'll start just like messing each other up and slowing the songs down and speeding them up just to make it interesting. We're one of the only buskers who really like uh, Afternoon Rush at Bluer and Young, which a lot of other people don't like because uh, it gets so busy there but we could be loud enough and annoying enough that we still get attention. <laughs> yeah, we like big crowds. Uh, on a Friday night, it's fantastic because everyone's blowing off steam after work and they see us and it's a fun thing to kind of brighten their day. Um, Mondays, we don't really do that well because people are going back to work and we're loud and just annoying. <laughs> Mornings too, people just look at us in the morning and are just like, come on. I, my coffee hasn't even kicked in. I don't want to listen to a washboard. I don't care how cute she is, go away. It's like, it's awful. People, we, we tried morning shifts, we are not a morning, we'll, we'll let the cello players take morning. Yeah. They, they do, the, the, the classical guys are way better at doing mornings than us. We're, we're, we're afternoon shifters. Plus we don't like waking up either, so. Otherwise I'd have a real job. 